Saint Lucia listen, French, Saint Lucie, is a sovereign island country in the West Indies in the Eastern Caribbean Sea on the boundary with the Atlantic Ocean. Part of the Lesser Antilles, it is located north, northeast of the island of Saint Vincent, northwest of Barbados and south of Martinique. It covers a land area of 617 square kilometers, 238 square miles, and reported a population of 165,595 in the 2010 census. Its capital is Castries. The French were the island's first European settlers. They signed a treaty with the native island Caribs in 1660. England took control of the island from 1663 to 1667. In ensuing years, it was at war with France 14 times, and rule of the island changed frequently, it was ruled seven times each by the French and British. In 1814, the British took definitive control of the island. Because it switched so often between British and French control, Saint Lucia was also known as the Helen of the West Indies. Representative government came about in 1840 with universal suffrage from 1953. From 1958 to 1962, the island was a member of the West Indies Federation. On the 22nd of February 1979, Saint Lucia became an independent state and a member of the Commonwealth of Nations. Saint Lucia is a mixed jurisdiction, meaning that it has a legal system based in part on both the civil law and English common law. The Civil Code of Saint Lucia of 1867 was based on the Quebec Civil Code of 1866, as supplemented by English common law style legislation. It is also a member of Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic. One of the Windward Islands, Saint Lucia was named after Saint Lucie of Syracuse by the French, who were the island's first European settlers. It is the only country in the world named after a historical woman Ireland is named after the Celtic goddess of fertility era. Legend states French sailors were shipwrecked here on 13 December, the feast day of Saint Lucie, thus naming the island in honour of Saint Lucie. History Topic. In the late 1550s, the French pirate François Leclerc known as Hombi de Bois, due to his wooden leg set up a camp on Pigeon Island, from where he attacked passing Spanish ships. In 1605, an English vessel called the Olive Blossom was blown off course on its way to Guyana, and the 67 colonists started a settlement on St. Lucia, after initially being welcomed by the Carib chief Anthony. By 26 September 1605, only 19 survived, after continued attacks by the Carib chief Agramart, so they fled the island. <inaudible> <inaudible> French colony in 1664, Thomas Warner, son of Sir Thomas Warner the governor of St. Kitts claimed St. Lucia for England. He brought 1,000 men to defend it from the French, but after two years, only 89 survived with the rest dying mostly due to disease. In 1666, the French West India Company resumed control of the island, which in 1674 was made an official French crown colony as a dependency of Martinique. 18th and 19th century both the British and the French found the island attractive after the sugar industry developed, and during the 18th century the island changed ownership or was declared neutral territory a dozen times, although the French settlements remained and the island was a de facto French colony well into the 18th century. In 1722, George I of Great Britain granted both St. Lucia and St. Vincent to the second Duke of Montagu. He in turn appointed Nathaniel Erring, a merchant sea captain and adventurer, as deputy governor. Erring went to the islands with a group of seven ships, and established settlement at Petite Carinage. Unable to get enough support from British warships, he and the new colonists were quickly run off by the French. During the Seven Years' War, Britain occupied Saint Lucia for a year. Britain handed the island back to the French at the Treaty of Paris in 1763. Like the English and Dutch on other islands, the French began to develop the land for the cultivation of sugar cane as a commodity crop on large plantations in 1765. In January 1791, during the French Revolution, the National Assembly sent four commissaries to Saint Lucia to spread the revolution philosophy. 
By August 1791, slaves began to abandon their estates and Governor de Gamot fled. In December 1792, Lieutenant Jean-Baptiste Raymond de la Crosse arrived with revolutionary pamphlets, and the impoverished whites and free people of color began to arm themselves as patriots. On 1 February 1793, France declared war on England and Holland, and General Nicolas Xavier de Ricard took over as governor. The National Convention abolished enslavement on 4 February 1794, but St. Lucia fell to a British invasion led by Vice Admiral John Jervis on 1 April 1794. Mourn Fortune became Fort Charlotte. Soon, a Patriot Army of Resistance, L. Hermé Francaise dans les Bois, began to fight back. Thus started the First Brigand War. A short time later, the British invaded the island as a part of the recently broken out war with France. On 21 February 1795, and a group of locals under the nominal control of Victor Hugue defeated a battalion of British troops at Vieux Fort and Rabbit. In 1796, Castries was burned as part of the conflict. General John Moore retook Fort Charlotte in 1796 with the 27th Inniskilling Fusiliers after two days of bitter fighting. As an honor, the Fusiliers' regimental color was displayed on the flagstaff of the captured fortress at Mourne Fortune for an hour before being replaced by the Union Jack. Moore would then participate in British efforts to repress the slave rebels until falling ill of yellow fever, upon which he returned to Britain before 1798. In 1803, the British regained control of the island. Many of the rebels escaped into the thick rainforest where they evaded capture and established maroon communities. The slavery on the island was continued for a short time, but anti slavery sentiment was rising in Britain. The British stopped the import of slaves by anyone, white or coloured, when they abolished the slave trade in 1807. France and Great Britain continued to contest St. Lucia until the British secured it in 1814, as part of the Treaty of Paris ending the Napoleonic Wars. Thereafter, St. Lucia was considered part of the British Windward Islands colony. The institution of slavery was abolished on the island in 1836, as it was throughout the British Empire. After abolition, all former slaves had to serve a four-year apprenticeship to accustom them to the idea of freedom. During this period, they worked for their former masters for at least three quarters of the work week. Full freedom was duly granted by the British in 1838. By that time, people of African ethnicity greatly outnumbered those of ethnic European background. Some people of Carib descent also comprised a minority on the island. Castries. Harbour was protected by a system of sixty surrounding forts. Along the top of Mourne Fortune there are six military sites, building work by the French started in 1768, and the British completed the work by 1890. They include Fort Charlotte Old Mourne Fortress, the Apostle. S. Battery 1888 the powder magazine built by the French in the 1750s, Provost's Redoubt 1792 built as a lookout point, and the Combermere Barracks. The best preserved installation is a battery at La Toc Point, completed in 1888 it was not abandoned till 1905. This fort in particular was built by the British to repel any attack from the United States on the then valuable coaling harbour of Castries. 20th and 21st century In the mid-20th century, St. Lucia joined the West Indies Federation 1958 when the colony was dissolved. In 1967, St. Lucia became one of the six members of the West Indies Associated States, with internal self-government. In 1979, it gained full independence under Sir John Compton of the Conservative United Workers' Party UWP, who served as Prime Minister from 1982 to 1996, after which he was succeeded by Vaughan Lewis. Much of the scenery for the film Dr. Doolittle was shot here in 1967. Water was shot here, as were parts of firepower. Dr. Kenny Davis Anthony of the Labour Party was Prime Minister from 1997 to 2006. In 2006, the UWP, again led by Compton, won control of Parliament. In May 2007, after Compton suffered a series of small strokes, Finance and External Affairs Minister Stevenson King became acting Prime Minister and succeeded Compton as Prime Minister when the latter died in September 2007. 
In November 2011, Anthony was re elected as Prime Minister for a third time. In the June 2016 elections, the UWP assumed power again, under Prime Minister Alan Chastanet. Geography <laughs> <laughs> The volcanic island of St. Lucia is more mountainous than most Caribbean islands, with the highest point being Mount Gimme, at 950 metres 3,120 feet above sea level. Two other mountains, the Pitons, form the island's most famous landmark. They are located between Sofriere and Choiseul on the western side of the island. St. Lucia is also one of the few islands in the world that contains a drive-in volcano. The capital city of St. Lucia is Castries population 60,263 where 32.4% of the population lives. Major towns include gros ali Sofriere, and Vieux Fort. Topic. Climate Topic. The local climate is tropical, moderated by northeast trade winds, with a dry season from 1 December to 31 May, and a wet season from 1 June to 30 November. Average daytime temperatures are around 29 degrees Celsius .2 degrees Fahrenheit, and average nighttime temperatures are around 24 degrees Celsius .2 degrees Fahrenheit. Since it is fairly close to the equator, the temperature does not fluctuate much between winter and summer. Average annual rainfall ranges from 1,300 mm in on the coast to 3,810 mm in, in the mountain rainforests. Geology <inaudible> 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 The geology of St. Lucia can be described as composing three main areas. The oldest, 16 to 18 Ma, volcanic rocks are exposed from Castries northward and consist of eroded basalt and andesite centers. The middle, central highlands, portion of the island consists of dissected andesite centers, 10.4 to 1 MYA, while the lower southwest portion of the island contains recent activity from the Sofriere Volcanic Center SVC. This SVC, centered about the Kualibu Depression, contains pyroclastic flow deposits, lava flows, domes, block and ash flow deposits, and explosion craters. This depression's perimeter includes the town of Sofriere, Mount Tabak, Mount Gimme, Morne Bonin, and Gros Piton, at 10 km miles in diameter. Though the western portion is open towards the Granada Basin, the depression formed as recently as 100 Kya. The depression is noted for its geothermal activity, especially at Sulphur Springs and Sofriere Estates, a phreatic eruption in 1776, and recent seismic activity 2000-2001. Eroded andesitic stratovolcanoes to the northeast of the depression include Mount Gimme, Piton Street Esprit, and Mount Grand Magazine, all greater than one ma in age. Andesitic and dacite pyroclastic flows from these volcanoes are found at Morn Tabak Dome 532 Morn Bonin Dome 273 and Bellevue 264 Avalanche deposits from the formation of the Kualibu Depression are found offshore, and in the massive blocks of Rabbit, Placence, and Kubaral, the Dacitic domes of Petit Piton and Gros Piton were then extruded onto the depression floor accompanied by the Anse John and La Pointe pyroclastic flows. Later, pyroclastic flows include Pumice Rich Belfond and Anse Noir. Finally, the Dacitic domes of Terra Blanche and Belfond formed within the depression. Government St. Lucia is a Commonwealth realm. Queen Elizabeth II is the head of state, represented on the island by a governor-general. The Prime Minister is normally the head of the party commanding the support of the majority of the members of the House of Assembly, which has 17 seats. The other Chamber of Parliament, the Senate, has 11 appointed members. St. Lucia is a two-party parliamentary democracy. Three political parties participated in the 6 June 2016 general election. Alan Chastanet of the United Workers' Party won 11 of the 17 seats. Topic. Foreign relations Topic. 
Saint Lucia maintains friendly relations with the major powers active in the Caribbean, including the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, and France. Saint Lucia has no current international disputes. Saint Lucia is a full and participating member of the Caribbean Community (CARICOM), Organization of Eastern Caribbean States (OECS), and La Francophonie. Saint Lucia is a Commonwealth realm. Saint Lucia became the 152nd member of the United Nations on December 9, 1979. As of January 2018, Cosmos Richardson, who presented his credentials on the 22nd of February 2017, was Saint Lucia's representative to the United Nations. Topic: <laughs> Organization of American States Topic: the Charter of the O's was signed in Bogotá in 1948 and was amended by several protocols which were named after the city and the year in which the protocol was signed, such as Managua in 1993 forming part of the name of the protocol. St. Lucia entered the O's system on the 22nd of February 1979. Topic: <laughs> Agreements which impact on financial relationships. Topic: Topic. The Double Taxation Relief CARICOM, Treaty 1994. Topic. At a CARICOM meeting, the representative of St. Lucia, John Compton signed the Double Taxation Relief CARICOM, Treaty 1994 on 6 July 1994. The representatives of seven CARICOM countries signed similar agreements at Sherborne Conference Center, St. Michael, Barbados. The countries whose representatives signed the treaties in Barbados were Antigua and Barbuda, Belize, Grenada, Jamaica, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Trinidad and Tobago. This treaty covered taxes, residence, tax jurisdictions, capital gains, business profits, interest, dividends, royalties, and other areas. <laughs> FATCA on 30 June 2014, St. Lucia signed a Model 1 agreement with the United States of America in relation to Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act FATCA. As of 1 September 2016, the status of the agreement is listed as in force. Preceding the 2014 FATCA agreement is one which was entered into on 30 January 1987 between the United States of America and St. Lucia according to paragraph 2 of the Model 1 agreement, the purpose of which was to exchange tax information. Military <inaudible> 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 St. Lucia has no regular military force. A special service unit and the Coast Guard are both under the command of the Royal St. Lucia Police. Administrative divisions The districts of the island, established by the French colonial government and continued by the British, are an additional area is the Forest Reserve Area Quarter, 78.3 square kilometers. Topic: Economy. Topic: The United Nations categorizes Saint Lucia as a small island developing state, a designation similar to a developing country with a few substantial differences due to Saint Lucia's island nature. The services sector accounted for 82.8% of GDP, followed by industry and agriculture at 14.2% and 2.9%, respectively, an educated workforce and improvements in roads, communications, water supply, sewerage, and port facilities have attracted foreign investment in tourism and in petroleum storage and transshipment. However, with the US, Canada, and Europe in recession, tourism declined by double digits in early 2009. The recent change in the European Union import preference regime and the increased competition from Latin American bananas have made economic diversification increasingly important in St. Lucia. St. Lucia has been able to attract foreign business and investment, especially in its offshore banking and tourism industries, which is St. Lucia's main source of revenue. The manufacturing sector is the most diverse in the Eastern Caribbean area, and the government is trying to revitalize the banana industry. 
Despite negative growth in 2011, economic fundamentals remain solid, and GDP growth should recover in the future. Inflation has been relatively low, averaging 5.5% between 2006 and 2008. St. Lucia's currency is the East Caribbean dollar, EC dollar a regional currency shared among members of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union AQ. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank ECCL issues the EC dollar, manages monetary policy, and regulates and supervises commercial banking activities in member countries. In 2003, the government began a comprehensive restructuring of the economy, including elimination of price controls and privatization of the state banana company. Tourism Topic. Tourism is vital to St. Lucia's economy. Its economic importance is expected to continue to increase as the market for bananas becomes more competitive. Tourism tends to be more substantial during the dry season January to April. St. Lucia tends to be popular due to its tropical weather and scenery and its numerous beaches and resorts. Other tourist attractions include a drive in Volcano, Sulphur Springs in Sofriere, the Botanical Gardens, the majestic Twin Peaks, the Pitons, a World Heritage Site, the Rain Forests, several options of boat trips, zip lining and Pigeon Island National Park, which is home to Fort Rodney, an old British military base. The majority of tourists visit St. Lucia as part of a cruise. Most of their time tends to be spent in Castries, although Sofriere, Marigot Bay, Rodney Bay and gros Elie are popular locations to visit. The current Minister of Tourism is Dominic Fetti, he has been in his role since 2016. Demographics <inaudible> 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 St. Lucia reported a population of 165,595 in the 2010 national census. In 2016, the United Nations Population Division estimated St. Lucia's population at 178,015. The country's population is evenly divided between urban and rural areas, with more than a third living in the capital, Castries. Despite a high emigration rate, the population is growing rapidly at about 1.2% per year. Migration from St. Lucia is primarily to Anglophone countries, with the United Kingdom having almost 10,000 St. Lucian-born citizens, and over 30,000 of St. Lucian heritage. The second most popular destination for St. Lucian émigrés is the United States, where a combined foreign and national-born St. Lucians almost 14,000 reside. Canada is home to a few thousand St. Lucians. Ethnic groups St. Lucia's population is predominantly of African and mixed African-European descent, with a small Indo-Caribbean minority 3%. Members of other or unspecified ethnic groups, account for about 2% of the population. Languages Topic. The official language is English. Saint Lucian Creole French Quayle, which is colloquially referred to as Patois, Patois is spoken by 95% of the population. This Antillean Creole is used in literature and music, and is gaining official acknowledgement. As it developed during the early period of French colonization, the Creole is derived chiefly from French and West African languages, with some vocabulary from the island Carib language and other sources. Saint Lucia is a member of La Francophonie. Topic: Religion. Topic: About 61.5% of the population is Roman Catholic. Another 25.5% belong to Protestant denominations, includes Seventh-day Adventist 10.4%, Pentecostal 8.9%, Baptist 2.2%, Anglican 1.6%, Church of God 1.5%, other Protestant 0.9%, Evangelicals comprise 2.3% of the population and 1.1% are Jehovah's Witnesses. In addition, about 1.9% of the population adheres to the Rastafari movement. Other religions include Islam, Baha'i faith, Judaism, and Buddhism. Health 
Topic. Public expenditure on health was at 3.3% of the GDP in 2004, whereas private expenditure was at 1.8%. Health expenditure was at $302 PPP per capita in 2004. Infant mortality was at 12 per 100,000 births in 2005. Topic. Crime. Topic. In 2017, St. Lucia recorded 60 homicides, the highest in the country's history. Culture The culture of St. Lucia has been influenced by African, East Indian, French, and English heritage. One of the secondary languages is Saint Lucian French Creole or Quayil, spoken by almost all of the population. Saint Lucia boasts the second highest ratio of Nobel laureates produced with respect to the total population of any sovereign country in the world. Two winners have come from Saint Lucia Sir Arthur Lewis won the Nobel Prize in Economics in 1979, and the poet Derek Walcott received the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1992. Festivals Topic. Saint Lucian cultural festivals include La Rose and La Marguerite, the first representing a native Saint Lucian fraternal society known as the Order of the Rose that is fashioned in the mold of Rosicrucianism, and the second representing its traditional rival, the native Saint Lucian equivalent of Freemasonry known as the Order of the Marguerite. References to their origins as versions of pre-existing external secret societies can be seen in a mural painted by Dunstan Street Omer, depicting the Holy Trinity of Osiris, Horus, and Isis. The biggest festival of the year is the St. Lucia Jazz Festival. Held in early May at multiple venues throughout the island, it draws visitors and musicians from around the world. The grand finale or main stage is held at the Pigeon Island which is located to the north of the island. Traditionally in common with other Caribbean countries, St. Lucia held a carnival before Lent. In 1999, the government moved carnival to mid-July to avoid competing with the much larger Trinidad and Tobago carnival and so as to attract more overseas visitors. In May 2009, St. Lucians commemorated the 150th anniversary of West Indian heritage on the island. Topic. Sport. Topic. The Windward Islands cricket team includes players from St. Lucia and plays in the West Indies Regional Tournament. Darren Sammy became the first St. Lucian to represent the West Indies on his debut in 2007, and since 2010 has captained the side. In an international career spanning 2003 to 2008, and including 41 Otis and one Test, Nadine George MBE became the first woman to score a Test century for the team. Sammy and George were recognized by the St. Lucian government as Sportsman of the Year and Sportswoman of the Year respectively for 2004. For sailing enthusiasts, the annual Atlantic Rally for Cruisers arc race begins in the Canary Islands and ends in St. Lucia. The year 2015 marked the arc's 30th year of existence. Every November, the race attracts over 200 boats and 1,200 people to sail across the Atlantic to the Caribbean. In 2019 a modern state-of-the-art horse racing facility will open. One of the main contributors will be the China Horse Club, operators of race tracks in Asia. Topic music and dance Topic Together with Caribbean music genres such as calypso, soca, dancehall, reggae, compass, zouk, and salsa, St. Lucia has a strong indigenous folk music tradition. Each May since 1991, St. Lucia has hosted an internationally renowned jazz festival. In 2013, the festival was rebranded the St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival which encompassed culture, visual art, alternative music, education, fashion, and food. Dancing in St. Lucia is inspired by Caribbean culture and enjoys an active following. A popular folk dance is the quadrille. Topic education Topic The Education Act provides for free and compulsory education in St. Lucia from the ages of 5 to 15. Public spending on education was at 5.8% among the 2002 to 2005 GDP. St. Lucia has one university, the University of the West Indies Open Campus, and a few medical schools: American International Medical University, International American University minus College of Medicine, Destiny University School of Medicine and Health Sciences, and the oldest of which is Spartan Health Sciences University. 
Topic cuisine topic Saint Lucia's national dish is green figs and saltfish. The island's cuisine is a unique blend of West African, European, mainly British and French, and East Indian cuisine. This creates dynamic meal dishes such as macaroni pie, stew chicken, rice and peas, fish broth or fish water, and soups packed full with fresh locally produced vegetables. Typical essential foodstuffs are potatoes, onions, celery, thyme, coconut milk, the very hot scotch bonnet peppers, flour, and cornmeal. All mainstream meat and poultry are eaten in St. Lucia. Meat and seafood are normally stewed and browned to create a rich gravy sometimes served over ground provisions or rice. The island is also home to the famous fried dough, known by many as a bake or johnny cake. These bakes can be served with different sides, such as saltfish which is either sautéed or lightly fried along with red, green peppers, onions, and seasoned well. This is the most common way for bake to be prepared, though it can also be served with meats such as stewed chicken or beef. One popular St. Lucian dessert is the pastry called a turnover. The pastry is made with sweetened coconut that is boiled with spices, some sugar, and whatever is satisfying. It is boiled until cooked to a light or dark brown color, then the mixture is separated into various size portions placed on a rolled out piece of dough. The dough size may vary too depending on how much is desired, and lastly, it is baked in the oven until the color of the turnover is nicely brown. Due to St. Lucia's Indo-Caribbean population, curry is very popular, however due to the blend of cooking styles, curry dishes have a distinct Caribbean twist. Roti is typically served as a fast food meal. The bread itself is very flat, sometimes very thin, and is wrapped around curried vegetables such as chickpeas and potato, seafood such as shrimp and conch, or meats such as chicken, beef, goat, and liver. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> LGBTQ acceptance. Topic: Lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender LGBT people living in St. Lucia face legal challenges not experienced by non-LGBT members of the population. St. Lucia prohibits male-on-male -male sexual activity, punishing those found guilty with 10 years in jail. St. Lucia was also the only UN member in the Americas to formally oppose the UN Declaration on Sexual Orientation and Gender Identity. Gallery Topic Topic See also Topic Outline of Saint Lucia List of colonial governors and administrators of Saint Lucia Governor General of Saint Lucia Index of Saint Lucia related articles British African Caribbean people Windward Islands LGBT rights in St. Lucia Chief Justice of the Leeward Islands References Citations Sources Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Saint Lucia. The World Factbook. Central Intelligence Agency. Saint Lucia from UCB Libraries GovPubs. Saint Lucia at Curlie. Saint Lucia from the BBC News. Wikimedia Atlas of Saint Lucia. Key development forecasts for St. Lucia from International Futures Guide to the Island of St. Lucia